star in gate 11. And gate 1, Eddie the Mover goes up. To settle, gates are back, racing away. Promotere, slow into stride about a length, but gets onto the rail about four to five lengths off the first call. Wiley, Riley, the all royal blues around them in the early stages. Eddie the Mover, though, is going to call the shots and heads the cavalry. Eddie the Mover proceeds on by a length and a half, midnight gold second. Wiley, Riley's on the outside in third. Jetavana hugs the inside running rail for the McGee. Captain Cola then comes temperate zone further back. Ensuing's a little bit heady between them past the 800. Promateri is back third to last, eight lengths off in the yellow silks. Then we have Pirate Prince and Feru Star watches all unfold and comes under the drive. Eddie the Mover gets a move on at the 450 meter marker, skips away by two. Midnight Gold cornered second, Jet of Honor. Wiley Riley hooked to the outside. Promater is towards the inside, four lengths to hunt down. Eddie the Mover though still has a length and a half to spare coming to the 200. And Suing's come out the pack on the grandstand side. Jet of Honor. N. Suing now starts to come on the Jet of Honor. Eddie the Mover's between them. Promater is running late. Jet of Honor though is going to get up. Jet of Honor's won it. Eddie the Mover's second. Maybe Promater just gets the better of ensuing who look to hang in late on. Well, let's just have a look at this. Number three, Jet of Honor for the Lola Crawford stable. The Panthers, Crawfords, Houstons. Number three, Pumem Joker, 42, 50, and 960. Second, Eddie the Mover. I think Promotere gets up third from Ensuing, who moved up dangerously, but looked like he wanted to run inwards. As they flash past the post. No extra from Wiley Riley. So Eddie the Mover got away from them. Ensuing on the right hand side. Looked like he was going to run by them all. But now you'll see starts to drift towards the inside. So that allows Jet of Honor. And Ensuing's costing himself. He's hanging to the inside. And he's not trying. And towards the inside. Taking off Promotera. But it's number three. Jet of Honor. Eddie the Mover. Promotera. And Ensuing. Suing, hanging towards the inside down the lane, but it's all about number three, Jetta Varna at 42.50 and 9 Rand 60. Back to the studio. A lovely win from horse number three, Jetta Varna from the Alola Crawford stable for the Royden Turner family who bred the Patala Palace gelding out of a dynasty maze. A handsome horse when I looked at him in the number one box. Pity I didn't look at him earlier on. And uh, owned by the Panthers and the Crawfords under Ned Houston. Uh, Pimim Jork has done a sterling job from the saddle. And uh, in course he's gone off to deal with uh, uh, Jet Ivana, But he'll get his thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. But who is with me is uh, Lola Crawford's daughter. And uh, she's come to do duty with uh, her sister Haley. And uh, Taryn, congratulations. Thank you so much, Warren. It was a lovely, lovely run. It certainly was, and uh, I just got getting. I always get the sisters' m names mixed up. I end up calling you Haley and Taryn, and vice versa. But uh, nevertheless, you've won. Tell us about the race because Lati raced a son of Patala Palace. He's quite a handsome horse, isn't he? Oh, he's a lovely looking horse, but he is huge. And he came in early, but he needed the time. And the owners were great or able to give us the time, and we are so so grateful that they listened. And we said, listen, just give him the time. He'll come right for you, and let's just give him the time that he needs. And everybody listened and. Third time at the track and he's in the winner's box. What more can we say? How's mom and dad? And of course they keep a uh, beady eye on, on proceedings and uh, just lovely that you've produced. And it's been a little quiet, but it's been tough. It's been the season and uh, the horses are running well and you've been rewarded with a winner for all your hard work. Well done. Yeah, it's been a group effort. You know, we work hard at the stables. The team is always working very hard. And yeah, no, it's been quiet, but the horses are coming right now. So we're very happy. Sydney's got a smile from ear to ear, so I'm looking forward to talking to him in a moment. Please convey our appreciation to the other owners as well. I will do. I'd just like to say thank you so much to the owners, my dad, Annette, Sydney. Big thank you to Hollywood for our, our sponsorship. And, yeah, thank you to the team. It's been an amazing win for this boy. It's been, we've been waiting for it, and it's good. Well done. Congratulations. Spot on. Let's talk to Pumi, who was a guest on our In the Box Seat podcast during the week. If you haven't watched that podcast... 
Well, I suggest you do because uh, Pumi's got a wonderful story to tell. And uh, tell us about this because w w when we spoke to you in the podcast, you said the Crawford Stable were one of the stables alongside Mr. Com Naidu that was supporting you, and you've made the girls very happy. Yes, yes, that's what I mentioned. You know, Mr. Naidu and the Crawfords, they've been very honest to me, you know, supporting me wherever I need the support. So a big thanks to them and also, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Crawford back at home. Just want to say thank you to them as well for supporting me. And also to Sydney, the owner, I'm very happy that uh, I managed to ride him a winner and he's here on the day. And big thanks to him as well. You know, last time this horse was very unlucky with the bad draw, ended up being stuck wide. And he still gave it to me at the top of the straight, but it's just, he, he, he fell into a hole a little because he did too much sitting wide. And this time we had the draw, everything was on his favor, the pace was on. So he was nicely relaxed and, you know, I just had to wait for him until I, I pressed the button and he gave it to me. For me, before I talk to Sydney, he's lightly raced. He's won early in his career, which is, which is promising. Will he go further, in your opinion? Yes, definitely. He'll definitely go further. Just uh, when I spoke to uh, Sydney in the parading, I said, you know, my biggest worry will be the distance. But, uh, you know, he's a big boy and he's a fighter. And uh, just before I leave, also, I just want to say thank you to LG Penobita. You know, they've been very supportive, Mr. Pile and his family. Thank you so much. Well done. Congratulations. It was a pleasure having you on the podcast, and it's even more of a pleasure having you in the winner's enclosure. I wish you many more. Thank you so much, Mr. Mpana. Lovely. Let's get Sydney in. He's still smiling, and so he should be. W when are you going to stop smiling? Uh, not for the next week or two. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, congratulations. Lovely to have you at the races. He's just uh, first time we're chatting, and we be, is, is it? It's not your first winner, surely. Yeah, it's first winner. We, we my long time racing partner and myself, William Yeberson, we got our first horse ten years ago, and uh, yeah, finally we got something decent. Eh? Well, that is absolutely fantastic. So no wonder the smile is still there. What? Tell us what was going through your mind. What were you doing on the grandstand? It, it just must have been such a feeling. Well, I was just shouting, uh, shouting from from the start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, big thank you to to the entire Crawford team. I mean, it's it's an amazing stable to be part of. And uh, also Bumi, great ride. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. And to you and your partners, thank you very much. And to your family, because uh, you've had to wait a little while, but uh, all good things come to those that wait. And uh, we wish you and your family and your partners many more winners. And thank you for being so resilient and supporting the industry. Uh, perfect. Thank you. And we'll be back for a big one. Lovely. That's Sydney. Sydney Panther. Well done. Thumbs up from him. First winner after 10 years, and that's just so wonderful. Well done to the Crawford family, Stuart and Lola, and of course to Annette Houston. Well done, everybody. It really is moments like this that make it all worthwhile. Pumi Mjokwa, a young man who should be given a lot more chances.